Hello and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about the Titanic. Today we're going to create a by the numbers infographic where we include statistics and number facts about the Titanic that show what big of a boat it was and how Titanic of a tragedy. So to start with we're going to press the plus in the top left and we're going to go to landscape. Now I'm going to get an image of the Titanic from Wikimedia Commons because this will mean it's copyright free uh, or it has a Creative Commons license. So I'm going to go to Wikimedia Commons and in the search bar I'm going to search for Titanic. Lots of results here. Uh, I'm going to have a little look around. This one looks pretty good and we can see the images in the public domain. So I'm just going to click on the link here, make sure you get the big version. I'm going to right click, copy image and I'm going to go to my work and I'm going to paste it. Right, I'm going to start with, I'm actually going to remove the background, so I only have the boat here. So I'll make sure I've got the image selected, and I go to remove background. Perfect, that's looking pretty good. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is just add a background. So I'm going to go to elements, backgrounds, and I'm just going to type in water and see what comes up. I think this looks pretty good for my design. Uh, now what I want to do is I kind of want the boat to be looking like it's in between the waves. So I'm actually going to go to Elements Design Assets and I'm going to search for Wave and see what comes up. This one looks pretty good. Uh, it means I can put it in front of the Titanic here. So just going to reduce the size of that, bring it across, make it as big as the canvas and then just pull it down a bit. And I want it just overlapping the bottom of the boat there. Now I'll probably move the Titanic along just a little bit. I'll probably have a title in the top left maybe. Now what I want to do is I want to do some research and I want to find out five or six statistics or number facts about the Titanic. So this is a fact that has a number in it that kind of shows us how big of a boat it was and also how huge of a tragedy it was. So I could visit any website I want really um, and find some facts about the Titanic. There's one here uh, that I've linked to, titanicfacts.net. So I'm going to use this one. And we can see it's got lots of different number facts or statistics. And I'm going to choose five or six that I think are quite interesting or maybe quite shocking facts or statistics. So here we go. I think this is an interesting one. Uh, we got $7.5 million was the cost of building the Titanic. So I could type this myself. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this number fact onto my work here uh, and just put it onto my canvas here. Now it doesn't stand out at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a shape behind it. Uh, so you could add a normal shape like this. You could play with the shape fill color. I quite like the yellow that's come up already. And you're going to choose a shape uh, that's going to go behind this bit of text. So hopefully one that kind of fits in with the, the time of the Titanic sinking. I think this one looks good. It kind of looks like a plaque you might get on the side of a big boat like this. Um, so I'm just going to play with the size, uh, play with the text box until I get it where I want it to. Uh, I might just rotate it slightly, that might make it look quite interesting. Now what I'm going to do though is uh, I'm just going to highlight the number here in our statistic or our number fact. Um, and I'm just going to increase the size of just that number. So I can press it a few times and I'll just make the text box. There we go, I think that's looking pretty good. Now I can do the same thing for five or six other facts. So there we go, I've got six number facts about the Titanic with my number, uh, where I've increased the size of my number in my fact. Um, I might just click on the Titanic boat here actually, um, and I might just go to effects, maybe add a duotone effect onto it. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. I'm also going to go into adjustments. This is quite a low contrast image, uh, which means it looks quite faded. So if we go into adjustments, uh, I might just increase the contrast on this. That's looking a bit better. Bring the shadows down even more. Um, and I think that's looking pretty nice. It's looking quite rusty uh, and quite vintage looking. So I've got my six facts, I've got my design. Um, I'm now gonna go and just add some smaller little design elements or small little cutout pictures um, to go with each of my facts. So I'm gonna go into elements. Uh, there's a fact here that says 20 horses were needed to transport the main anchor, which is a really shocking and interesting fact. Really shows the scale of that anchor. So I'm gonna go into design assets and I'm gonna search for anchor and see what comes up. So I could choose one of these, that might be quite nice. Um, I might also just try in media, search in photos for Anchor and see if I get something a bit better. Uh, this is quite nice, I quite like this blue one. Uh, because it's a photo, I need to remove the background. So if I click the image and then press this remove background button. That's looking pretty good. Uh, just add that with that fact. So I've got one here about iceberg warnings. So I might again search for photos and see what comes up with iceberg. Uh, there's some nice options there. Um, again, I might actually try in elements. It's good to kind of check both. See what comes up with iceberg. Uh, this looks like quite a nice one. Let's go for this. Quite a sort of a modern uh, vector image. 
So let's uh, add this somewhere with that fact there. Uh, and I'm going to go around and add an image to each of these other facts. So there we go. I've added uh, some image to accompany each of the facts. I've got some money here. I've got a gravestone here as I've got a statistic about the number of people who actually died in the Titanic tragedy. Um, so finally, I'm going to think about adding a title here, uh, which is going to be Titanic by the numbers. Now for this, I do usually like to just go to text, add your text, but I'm going to use a, uh, a template today. Uh, I'm going to have a look in maybe headlines and see if I can find something uh, that might be suitable for our uh, project here. So I think this one looks good. Um, obviously, it's Chris Teller, regional brand manager at the moment, but we can we can soon change that. So if I just double click on the Chris Teller part, I'm going to change this to Titanic. And again, if I just double click on this lower part where it says regional brand manager, I'm going to change that to by the numbers. Great, I'm just going to click off it. I'm going to click on the whole group now because these are two elements that have been grouped together automatically. So I'm just going to bring that across. Right, I've got my title here, Titanic by the numbers. Uh, I'm going to make the by the numbers pink is a bit of a strange color for this piece of work. I'm going to go to fill. Um, I'm actually going to use the eyedropper tool and I'm going to get a very light blue from this iceberg there. I think that might look quite nice. Yeah, lovely. I might also make this uh, Titanic instead of black. It's not standing out that well. I might make it the same sort of yellow from over here. Uh, so I'm just going to go to fill. I'm going to use that eyedropper tool again. Just get the same yellow I've got in my work so far. Great. Now I just want a little sort of paint splodge behind my title here. So I'm just going to go to elements and I'm going to search for uh, paint. I think this one looks pretty good. Uh, obviously it's over my title at the moment. So I'm just going to right click it and go center back. Uh, and I think that makes our title pop out really nicely. Maybe just adjust the size of our shape in the background uh, until we're happy with it. Now I think I could go for a font that's a bit more interesting and a bit more in fitting with the topic. So I'm just going to click on one of my fact boxes here. I'm going to go to fonts. Uh, I'm going to see what I can come up with. Um, I quite like this one. I've used this recently. Uh, I think the it looks like it's from the time. So I'm just going to go around to each of my facts now and I'm going to go to font and I can see that I've got this font in use. So I'm going to go around and do all of my facts and make them all the same font. Perfect. And now finally, I'm just going to add an overlay or a texture as a little cherry on the top. This will just give it uh, a feel like it's on old paper. So if I just go to elements, I'm going to search for overlay, which is just something you lay over your work. Uh, I'm going to select this one. This looks quite old school. I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to get it to cover my page for now, but I probably don't want it over my number facts. I want those to stand out a bit better and my title. So in my layers here, I'm just going to drag it to just above the uh, boat image and the ocean. Uh, it's a bit strong for me at the moment. I'm going to bring the opacity right down. I just want a very subtle texture, page kind of texture. So there we go. I think we're looking pretty good now. We've got our number facts, we've got our image of the Titanic, and we've got our title and our interesting overlay. So I'm just going to uh, download the image now. PNG is fine. I'm going to press download, and we'll see it's downloaded to our computer. Uh, I can also press share. I could publish it to the web. I could share it straight to Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. Uh, I'm going to press publish to the web. Perfect, it's created our link, so I can press this button that says copy link. I could just open a new tab in my web browser, paste it in, and we can see our final Titanic by the numbers infographic.